Alrighty, welcome to the next video in the Road to 100K series. Now, if you wanna get access to the complete masterclass that's gonna show you step-by-step -step how I'm doing everything in this video, which is building and scaling a Shopify dropshipping store from complete scratch, even with no experience, then hit the first link in the description beneath this video so that you can get access to my private school community. Inside, you're not only gonna get access to the course, you're gonna get access to a freaking awesome community of online entrepreneurs who are hustling and building their businesses just like you. You're gonna get access to daily group coaching. So we have three, sometimes four weekly Q&A calls where you can jump on calls with me one-on-one, -on -one, ask me questions. We can go through ad accounts or stores, whatever you want. And then on top of that, you also get a free one-on-one -on -one coaching call if you join today. There are also other bonuses inside um, the community. We've got free tools, we've got shared spy accounts, we've got 50 plus worth paid themes. Um, some of the most popular themes are in there as well. So if you wanna get access to all those tools, if you wanna get access to the group coaching and a free one-on-one -on -one coaching call and the complete masterclass for literally less than the price of your next two DoorDash meals, then hit the first link in the description and I hope to see you guys inside. Peace. Welcome back everyone. Road to 100K, day number, it's either day number five or number six. I'm gonna put it on screen just because I actually don't know which day I'm on. Regardless, we're a few days in into running uh, the case study store that we're gonna be, I don't know why I'm talking like a fucking robot right now, to be honest. It's day five or six. Here's where we're currently at. I, I, I noticed like I, I, I do a YouTube, voice and a YouTube way of talking. And it's so bullshit. I'm just gonna talk how I normally talk. <laughs> uh, okay, anyways, so here's our stats for the week so far on our testing campaign. Um, there should be another video somewhere in between this one or in the previous video. Hopefully I showed you guys what creatives I'm running right now. Right now we have a clear winning ad creative. Uh, 3.10 or 3.01 return on ad spend, $36 CPA. Um, yeah, it's got this crazy scroll stopper in it. Got some really nice B-roll, good script that I reverse engineered using the materials in my course. <sighs> Shameless plug, <laughs> such a bad plug. Using the, the prompt that you can, I'll, I'll give it away for free so you don't have to join my community if you don't want to. Uh, okay, I launched a couple of different ad sets and I haven't been able to get any spend, which tells me that the ad sets that I'm injecting into here are shit. Here's the ad set. Uh, the most recent one that I thought would do well, I was testing out a kind of slightly different angle here. Watch my hair disappear in three, two, one. Make it oh no, looks like I was just testing the exact same body script with different copy or different, a middle section. Watch my hair dis expensive late remove and Yeah, I was using different B-roll. Um, with the same scroll stopper. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pause that because that's not really making a difference in the ad account. This one, I believe, double check this. Okay, that angle, as you can tell, uh, going after, just calling out the pain point. We actually have decent uh, metrics here, actually really good metrics, I should say, but we're just not getting enough spend. Uh, it's that ad set. So I'm gonna leave that one on maybe for another day or two and then turn it off. And then this one here, not getting any spend at all, um, tells me that this is just really bad creative. So if you wanna save money on going totally hairless, you need to try this. Um, that one was a, a sale creative that I copied um, and it's not really working uh, at all. So today was actually a really good day for the testing campaign. We had two conversions. Um, yeah, today we had two conversions on the primary testing campaign. And then let me zoom out to see where we got a third conversion from today. Oh, interesting. So I'm actually not tracking one of my conversions uh, because we actually have three conversions today, which is a little frustrating. Um, yeah, as you can see, three purchases. Is, am I seeing that correctly? Okay, we've got three, there we go. Okay, what the hell, man? So we've got three purchases today. Today was the best performance that we've had on this campaign, but overall today we're not profitable because I burned um, a little bit more cash than I wanted to testing out some different campaigns. Now, what I was testing here was different geos. 
uh, and geos, we mean different countries. So I was testing out uh, cam campaigns that would only go into Canada because if I pull this back here, I just wanted to see, okay, we've got, you know, obviously a lot of action in uh, Australia, we've got good action in Canada. Why not try a campaign dedicated to both of those? I launched one today, uh, just didn't do well. Um, didn't really see, yeah, we got some add to carts. I was thinking about leaving this on potentially and going into tomorrow, but honestly, um, I know the biggest delta here now is going to come from just leaving this campaign on um, and continuing to uh, improve my creative. So, Looking at yesterday's stats, we did not hit target CPA. Um, we're trying to stay break even here, so we're just over that. So I'm actually not gonna touch the budget today, even though I really do wanna bump it up. What we're gonna do today, though, is focus on, because today was a good day, so it looks like tomorrow we'll bump up the budget. What we're gonna focus, focus, on, focus in on today are a couple of different things. Now, we're on the precipice of greatness, boys. We are very close to making this thing working. We're driving volume. If I had only spent money on this campaign today, this would have actually been our first profitable day on the store. All that being said, there's two areas that we can improve. First of which is on the creative side. So we've been running this campaign long enough. We have a uh, we have two ads, I believe, in here that are ready, that we're ready to start iterating that I can say definitively are winners. The first of which is this ad creative here. The second of which is this ad creative here. Now, this ad creative is not as strong um, of a winner right now. Um, it's got a 2.13 return on ad spend, $51 CPA. So I want to do some iterations off of this to see if I can actually get better performance. Uh, maybe do with a different image. Regardless, I want to do some iterations based off of this. Potentially test out 50% off plus free gift in the messaging. Then I'm going to do an ad set um, testing out different iterations of this. So we're going to look for different hooks and we're going to pair it. We're not going to change anything except for the hooks. We're just going to test out probably two to three more scroll stoppers. So that's what we've got on the agenda or for homework for today on the creative side. Then on the website side, I actually installed Hotjar and I've been watching recordings and we're going to go through some live. And if you're running a store right now and you're not using Hotjar, stop what you're doing and go add it on. Because when you want to improve conversion rate, it's important to focus on the creatives, but you also need to focus on your website and not just the product page. I, I know I say like you, you can get away with the product page and just focusing on the product page, but this is unacceptable guys. 1.12 conversion rate, 12 add to carts. Only two of those become conversions. Unacceptable today, 13 add to carts. Only three of those become conversions. I think the day before was even worse. Yeah. 10 add to carts. So clearly there's a, there's an issue here that we're running into where people are not converting. So I want to address this on the creative. I think fixing the website for today is honestly a bigger priority because um, as you guys know, or if you've seen in my previous videos, it's important to know which area of the business or, or of the site that you need to diagnose. And because you don't just want to start making changes all over the fucking place, because then now you're making changes and you're not, you're not going to be able to tell which changes are actually making an impact. And if you look at our creative metrics, we're actually like, they're not terrible, right? Like click through rate could be higher, but click through rate is relative to CPM. So I'm actually pretty happy with, you know, our cost per click being $1.23. Got great thumb stop. Our cost per add to cart is ridiculous. We're actually hitting our target cost per add to cart uh, metric, our profit target cost per add to cart. It's just, we're missing out on that final step of conversion. So today we're gonna be investigating what in the fuck is going on on the website that's preventing people from uh, purchasing? So I was watching this replay and this one was a really cool one because, well, actually I'll just show you. I'll shut up and we'll watch them on 2X speed. So as you can see with Hotjar, she's picking between the colors, trying to see which one she wants. She, she's gonna scroll down, okay? Okay, she's going through the before and after. Okay, 
So she's going through, she's going through, and eventually, she. so this lady makes it all the way to the bottom, right? And she presses add to cart. Boom. So we're, well, I'm not gonna say we're, we're doing enough yet, but here, like we're, we're getting, this is, this is an example of a, a common user journey that you're gonna see on your site. Your product page is actually good. If you design it well enough, it's actually good, and people wanna add to cart and see you know, what the offer is, right? So there's enough trust there, and then boom. This is where I think I'm losing people, is on the homepage, right? So they go to the homepage, they're clicking through, okay? And then this was really cool, check this out, okay? She's going through the FAQs, she's scrolling through the entire homepage, so I need to fix my fucking homepage. And then eventually, Eventually, I think it's here. I can't remember where it was. She's gonna do a search. I'm trying to figure out where it was. Boom, okay, there it is. So she does a search for how often should I use it? Boom, FAQ. That is what the FAQ is for. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and we're gonna add that to the site later for optimizing. Um, but let's go on to the next one now. Let's watch these together live, okay. Awesome, as you can see guys, people just skip through. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna put this at 4X. Is there an 8X? Okay, 4X. So I'm probably gonna swap out that video because it's not even playing anyways. Okay. Okay, let's do skip inactivity. I think I need to fix the FAQs just based off of this. Oh gosh, that looks like a fucking website error. Looking around. Okay, probably could do some improvements with the images as well. Boom, okay. Let's keep going. Wow, lots of movement on the images. Yep, I gotta get rid of those videos, man. They're not even playing. Oh boy. Oh no, not a homepage visit. Oh, that's chalked. We, we, we gotta fix that. All right, this one looks like a good one. This is some fucker <laughs> in my group. <laughs> I'm not even gonna watch this one. This one's from Germany. Let's see, shipping policy. That's what I'm seeing, man. More and more people are clicking. I gotta change those to gifts or, or do something because they're not, they're not playing. Don't know what this guy's doing. He's just drawing all over the place. I think that's the end. Yep. Okay. Let's keep going. Damn, these people are just drawing on the mug. Oh, that was the most recent one. That that had the changes. Okay. Holy shit! It's clicking everywhere. Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. I was like, this guy's clicking everywhere. It's fucking me editing the goddamn website. Is, are these me editing the fucking website? Okay, cool. Um, let's, let's, I don't know why it just keeps clicking. 